Hello everybody. I'm about to show you how to make a insulated modular flexible greenhouse panel for a geodesic or mandalic kind of dome structure. This is made out of bubble wrap and um, bendy straws that have been fit together fit the bendy straws into each other like so. One fit into the smaller sleeve of the next one, bent around. The long one is inserted until about this point, just as the bend starts. That way the equilateral triangle is ensured and these stay pretty bendy. This is the state that it's in. I mean, you'll notice it's a pretty flexible thing. It gets less flexible as you wrap it. Um, you don't want it to stay very flexible because you want it to more or less keep this shape. And then this will be your concave side, the final bubble wrap side, so that this keeps the water out. Anyway, we're going to start like so, just laying down like this. This will be the inside bubble wrapping panel. Next, I will put the tape a quarter inch, maybe half an inch, onto the bubble wrap and line this up as carefully as I can. I want to get some of the bubble wrap to come around the piece. It's really fine. This has been sort of tedious as I developed the process. I want to get this perfect, you know. Other side. Notice I sort of line this up with the edge of the panel for both of these sides as close as possible. I'm going to pivot this one just a little bit. I into a bit of an issue with this one, but I think it's still going to be resolved. Put it a little bit too far to the left, folks. Yeah. Put tape on here on this side. Well, <laughs> it wants to stick to everything, including the straws, whether or not you're ready for it. Now, in order to sort of make this structure, bend this taut like I want it. I've done so many of these, but as soon as the camera is rolling and the heat is on, go to the corners here. slightly, create a ever so slightly concave surface even on this part. And now, now that is pretty well primed to hold its shape. Next one. Not so important now to pull it taut since we've got really that going on. These other guys in. The way we've been doing it is going to these corners you see where the bubble wrap folds over slightly. And this is kind of tricky. Put that like that. And then find a way to get these pieces to go flat. Sort of bend it on over. And I learned a whole lot about folding tape. I really I thought I'd give credit to my mom on this one for showing me how to wrap presents so well. <laughs> to all the origami instructors that have come before me, this one's for you. Even though I'm not making animals, well, you know, when these polygons go together, shoot, we could make some animals, really. 
We'll see. And this one's going to be a giraffe. I'm just kidding. Hey, nobody's going to watch this. But I'm gonna some fun here. faith in bendy straws. I have faith in uh, molecules and geometry. The way I'm seeing this is sort of like um, very minute particles going together with invisible forces. I'm not I'm a quantum physicist, but I'm sure to catch my hair and I'm back in the tape at least once during the taping process. That's part of the deal. If you have one hair, at least. No, I can't stop walking. Anybody ask me? This has been a very forgiving structure.
You get emotional over this, you know. Some of these loose ends. We don't want any little flaps. I mean, not that we're going for looks here, <laughs> but uh, we still don't want the little hangy bits. You just blow around the wind and they don't look perfect. I mean, they make something that's not all that impressive, even less impressive. Although, geometrically speaking, this might bend. I do all these things, but generally speaking, holds this shape. And <laughs> might even make a pretty good frisbee. <laughs> so that's this edition. Later on, we will show you how to put these together and make a structure that makes sense. <laughs> Take care. Keep on rocking in the free world, Earth Stars.